I thought this year I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to be a different player. I'm going to try to be a better player than I was the year before. That meaning that I'm going to try to play a better match and, and, and when, I, when I get into those finals, I'm going to try to play a better, better tennis. The wait is over for Felix Auger Aliassim. Yeah, Rotterdam, uh, this tournament has always been special for me. Uh, I, I started my professional career, my, my real professional career there. I played, played my first ATP match uh, thanks to a wall card. Every week is an opportunity in tennis. Um, and then sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. And, you know, I started starting with the first round. Uh, I lost the first set, uh, but felt like I was playing some good tennis. And then actually won 6-2, 6-2 after, if I, if I recall. He did a good job of turning things around. As the week went on, I just felt like I was playing uh, better and better. Yeah, well, playing uh, Andy or, or one of the best players in the, in, in the history of our sport is always special. Yeah, it was quite an entertaining match. I had a, an amazing start, played some of my best tennis this year. I went up 4-0 and then, uh, as he always does, you know, broke me back, came back, and then I was able to, you know, to close it out, close out the first set. Roger Aliassim is a set away. And then again, the, the, the second set kind of started my way and I was able to, to, to dictate the, the match. and and I'd really be uh, dominant, so it was, uh, it was a great win. A superb display from Felix Auger Aliassime in Rotterdam. I just remember the end of the match against Cam Nori being very tough physically, uh, and that's what he does, you know, he makes you work for, for every point. You know, he pushes you, uh, you know, to, to really dig deep within yourself. I mean, yeah, to come out of that match in a straight set, it was really good because it was tough physically. So uh, I think that helped me to, to then uh, have some energy uh, left in the tank for the rest of the week. It's Auger Aliassim that makes a return to the Rotterdam semi-finals. Well, that was a, the, the match against Andre in semi-finals was the toughest match uh, of the week, uh, for sure. Um, I had a lot of chances to actually win the first set. I thought I, I, I should win it. And then I lost in a tiebreak. He played some, played some good tennis. Game in first set. And then in the second set, he should have won that set. And then, you know, I won it. I was down, uh, you know, lot 40 at some point on my serve, was able to save that game and then break him uh, right after. Oh, it's so good. Magnificent. What a superb effort from the 21-year-old from Canada. And then after the third set, I just felt like there was a big momentum switch. I felt good physically. And then I just started, you know, really dominating the play. and. Uh, and I think, you know, that third set and then the two sets in the finals were, were you know, three sets in a row of, of great tennis from my part. So a quite brilliant Auger comeback Auger from Felix Auger Aliassim. He books his place in his ninth career ATP final. Could this be the week he gets over the line? But of course, every time I, I lost one of those finals, it was tough. It was tough uh, mentally. Uh, but I, I think, you know, I thought this year I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to be a different player. I'm going to try to be a better player than I was the year before. That meaning that I'm going to try to play a better match. And, and when, I, when I get into those finals, I'm going to try to play a better, better tennis. So I really felt like you know, I was able to put all those negative things on the side and, and really focus on on the positive, be optimistic, and approach the match with, with a lot of confidence. 
watching him play over the, the week, you, you feel he deserves to win the final. So, you know, I was playing Stefanos, which is not easy. I lost to him uh, a couple of times in our pre previous meetings. So that was also itself a big challenge. I had a good start of the match. I think, you know, breaking his serve uh, from the first game uh, helped me a lot. It's like, finally I'm getting, you know, a good start in the final. Maybe I can try to, you know, win this first set. That would help me a lot. And then after I was serving so well in that final, so once I got the break, it was just like kind of focusing on, on holding my serve, being precise uh, uh, in my attacking game. A, game. a super set of tennis from the world number nine. And then, uh, yeah, after I won that first set, I had this really big boost of confidence and thought, okay, if I can break him again, um, I think, you know, I can, I can win this match. And uh, I did very early on again in that second set. Of course, you know, you're leading a set and, uh, and a break, you're thinking a lot about uh, eventually winning, but I think I did well on, you know, staying in the present, focusing on winning every point, and um, of course when I saw the, the ball go out on match point, it was a, it was a big moment of relief for me and, and for my team. The wait is over for Felix Auger Aliassime. Six, Having my mom, my dad on FaceTime, it was, uh, I think that's what got me emotional. I think myself on the court, I was, I was really happy, but I uh, wasn't feeling all the emotions. But I think when, once you're close with your people and, and you share a moment with them, that's where you, you really start feeling uh, all the emotions because you think of uh, uh, the tough moments uh, of, of losing, um, losing finals. You think of uh, the work that you'd put you know, to get there. And uh, it's just really a big relief. It's like the stress that all goes out at the same time, so I think that's why we, you know, uh, you, you feel emotions uh, as a player. This guy is here to stay. He gets it done. 6-4, 6-2. For sure, you know, now I can put this behind me, but my goals now are even higher, and I'm trying to do, uh, uh, to repeat that first, and then to do even, even better. The 21-year-old Canadian claims his maiden title on the ATP Tour. A breathtaking display in today's final.